could tell that she was very tense. Bella, you want to go for a walk? Come on. Come on, you want to go for a walk? If we were trying to pet her and she didn't want it, she would let us know. Or if we were trying to brush her out. She was sitting in the shelter for 130 days. We decided that Bella was going to be our next foster dog. They also tampered expectations and how she might not be the most cuddly or the nicest. You finally eating your lunch. Those first couple days were tough. We were pretty sure that might be our relationship. She might just sit in a room with us and let us know when we were doing things she didn't like. And so we tried to do things that she did like. We carried around jumbo-sized hot dogs everywhere we went. We tried taking her on walks. She would just lay right down and there was no getting her to move until she was ready. Come on, come on, Bella. Come on, come on, homie. Come on, homie. We started to notice that she did get more comfortable. She walked over and I was optimistically cautious and then gave the subtle look and I didn't hear her growl. We got out a pool and filled that with water. She loved to lay in it when it was hot, and then she let me give her a bath, which was a big step, and one of those few moments where I could feel the bond really starting to form. She started to play with toys. We would take her out to the field. When she started to run, uh, it was one of the most rewarding. About four months in and we'd grown really, really close to each other. What we enjoy about fostering so much is if we can find her a forever home, we can take another Bella in. This couple from Iowa made the trip and met Bella. The day of adoption, we brought Bella early and she said hi to all of her friends at the shelter. And it was so fun to watch her remember those people. And then the adopter showed up and Bella, who is always by my side, no matter who's around, walked over and sat next to these people. And I was like, all right, she knows I can pass the torch. Through my happy tears of watching her climb into that car, it just, it was such an awesome feeling that we were able to take this dog who was so shy and so scared of being in the shelter for 130 days and then transform her into this dog that was willing to get into this family's car to start her new life. <laughs>